Are we prepared to face the silent invasion that's destroying our homeland? I'm talking about the nine most destructive invasive animals wreaking havoc across the United States. Have you seen the chaos they've unleashed? These creatures might seem harmless, but they're a direct threat to our environment, economy, and health. Somewhere, a government official is strategizing ways to exterminate these intruders. How much damage are we willing to tolerate before taking action? This isn't just about protecting our land, it's about survival. Are we ready to fight back? Here are nine of the most destructive invasive animals in the United States. Nine, Nutria. Let's talk about Nutria, or as Louisianans prefer to call them, swamp rats. Originally imported from South America in the 1930s for the fur trade, Nutria were released into the wild when the industry declined. Since then, they have become an invasive species, particularly in Louisiana, where federal wildlife officials acknowledge there's no realistic hope of completely eradicating them. Nutria are voracious eaters and prolific breeders, causing significant environmental damage. Their constant digging along riverbanks leads to severe soil erosion, devastating habitats of numerous native species like muskrats, crabs, and juvenile fish. This destruction also affects water quality and can lead to increased sediment in the water, further impacting aquatic ecosystems. Controlling Nutria populations requires a multifaceted approach, including hunting, trapping, and habitat management. Despite their benign name, these swamp rats are a serious issue, underscoring the importance of ongoing efforts to manage and mitigate their presence. 8. European Starling European starlings, those little birds that travel in enormous flocks, often cause quite a commotion wherever they go. Introduced to North America in the 1890s by a group of Shakespeare enthusiasts, starlings have thrived, spreading across the continent and establishing themselves as arguably the most successful foraging bird in the country. Starlings are notorious for their aggressive behavior, particularly around feeding livestock. They swarm toward feeding cattle, stealing their food, and persistently harassing the much larger animals until they retreat. This behavior disturbs livestock and can lead to significant economic losses for farmers. Efforts to manage and control starling populations, whether admired for their stunning aerial displays or managed as pests, starlings remain a significant and intriguing part of our ecosystem. Brown Marmorated Stink Bug There's a good chance a stink bug is in your house right now. These little invaders are indifferent to your presence, seeking only a cozy spot to hibernate through winter. Come spring, they awaken eager to mate and proliferate, potentially leading to millions more stink bugs. One of the biggest issues with stink bugs is their impact on agriculture. They are notorious for destroying fruits and vegetables, driving up produce prices. The brown marmorated stink bug first appeared in Allentown, Pennsylvania in 1998, likely hitching a ride on a cargo ship from China. In their native habitat, stink bugs aren't much of a nuisance thanks to natural predators like small parasitic wasps. However, these wasps don't exist in the mid-Atlantic region of the United States, allowing stink bug populations to grow unchecked and wreak havoc on local agriculture. Five feral hogs. Imagine a creature with razor-sharp teeth, curling tusks, and a fiery temperament that charges at humans without hesitation. Meet the feral hog. These animals, also known as wild pigs or big boars, have established themselves in 47 states with particularly massive populations in Texas, Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina. Feral hogs cause staggering damage each year, about $1.5 billion nationwide. They consume turtle eggs, wild turkey eggs, and quail that nest on the ground, impeding the growth of the next generation of trees by eating acorns and chestnuts. Their aggressive nature and adaptability make them a particularly challenging invasive species to manage. 4. Lionfish Lionfish are undeniably beautiful with their striking zebra-like stripes and elegant flowing fins. But these exotic predators are voracious eaters, devouring almost anything that fits into their mouths. Their insatiable appetite and lack of natural predators in their new environments make them a significant threat to marine ecosystems. 3. Norway Rat the Norway rat, also known as the brown rat or sewer rat, has been a part of the United States landscape since 1775. These rodents have made themselves at home in every state, including the far reaches of Alaska and Hawaii. Despite their name, Norway rats are originally from Asia, but have proven to be incredibly adaptable. 
Norway rats have a particular fondness for living near humans, providing them with ample food and shelter. They consume almost anything, including eggs, young chickens, vegetables, garbage, and even wood. This adaptability makes them particularly troublesome pests, capable of damaging crops, contaminating food supplies, and spreading diseases. 2. Tegu Tegus are fascinating creatures that resemble little brown anole lizards, but on steroids. These robust reptiles have a particular fondness for eggs and have been known to harass pets and even attack and kill cats. Originally brought to the United States as exotic pets, some tegus were released into the wild by their owners, leading to their rapid spread. 1. Asian Citrus Silid Have you ever wondered what could threaten your morning glass of Florida orange juice? A tiny bug, the Asian Citrus Silid, carries a bacterium responsible for a devastating disease known as Huang Longbing, or citrus greening. This disease deforms the roots of citrus trees, leading to premature fruit drop and eventually killing the tree. Florida, which produces up to 80% of the nation's orange juice, has been the hardest hit, with half of all citrus trees infected. The Asian citrus psyllid and Huang Longbing have also been detected in other major citrus-producing states like Georgia, Louisiana, Texas, and California.